Now here's one. Oh, I like this. Sold fears. Mm. Ah, sold fears. Soul fears. Nothing nice, eh? Nardin R. Is that it? Please, I cannot seem to find this information. When fasting on watermelon, do you eat the seeds and peel? Do you blend the whole thing in a blender? You know, I have to say, now, everybody has their own take of this, but I've never taken watermelon rinds and ground them up. I, I, you know, you can, very laxative, <laughs> but to tell you the truth, I'm more into the meat of it and where the flavor is, and I think that's the draw that we have to the flavor. All seeds have a little bit of quinine in them, so you really got to be careful, even though we dump apple seeds and everything down the juicer. Remember Dr. Oz had the thing about quinine or mm -hmm. arsenic, you know, and that, and it's like, it is true. It is in there. And you have to understand that with a lymph system not filtering properly, cumulative effects, because blood doesn't hold things. It dumps them through the spleen and other sources into the lymph. The lymph, if it's not moving, holds these chemicals right here. It'll hold your, your, your mercury here. It'll hold. That's the system you want to detox. The blood is easy to detox. Mm -hmm. Your blood moves around the body in less than a minute. It's easy to clean the blood, clean the spleen, clean the liver. The lymph system, a beast of a whole nother color, guys. And that's what you're all up against. Watermelon, I just eat the watermelon. If you like the seeds, I don't know. In a detoxification scenario, I would say the seeds would have more of a proteinish, too concentrated. I mean, that's where all the power is, but wrong kind of power. Enzyme inhibitors and things like this are found in the seeds. High phytic acids, things like this are found in seeds. So you want to be careful. Very powerful food. I think the traditional seeds that we know of would be better. But you can do whatever you want. I know people that throw the whole thing down the blender. Mm -hmm. Seeds, rind, and everything. So I, I prefer just the watermelon. What do you, what's your take on that? You like uh, the whole thing? Well, the rind's pretty bitter. I like the yeah. sweet, the meat, like he was talking about. Um, as far as the benefits and stuff of that, mm -hmm. I've not looked too deeply into that. I like what watermelon yeah. meat does to I me. I do, and for too. Me. I mean, if you're constipated as heck, taking the rind might open you up. <laughs> And if, if you're curious about it, eat as close to the rind and include a little bit. It's not yeah. going to hurt you. Yeah, yeah. But as a rule, you, the peels, the protective layers, mm -hmm. and you want to get them off of there and get into the, uh, into the meat of it. Now, opposite's true probably of a white potato where they claim the, uh, the peel has so much minerals in it. But again, uh, I think that the mineral concept is way overdone here. I mean, there's a lot of cell life and all this stuff, and you've got, you've got your uh, volcanic ash, you know, and all this, and uh, uh, your, your dirts and stuff. But I'll be honest with you, I, I think that's mines too low in the ground. Uh, you know, we talked about the 256-year-old Chinese guy. We have a picture up here. Uh, it's enough to say that minerals are very difficult to be absorbed through the bowel. Clays aren't readily absorbable, if you notice that. They, they attract and pull and absorb and go on. This, there, there's a reason why God kept absorption of elementals low. Now, when elementals form salts, which are done by the plants, that is more like it. So when you, uh, when you study Schusler's uh, cell salts, for an example, you'll, you'll understand how, how more powerful that is on the cell itself. And this is why I've, I've told you before why chelation was, was invented to wrap an amino acid around a mineral and get it into the, the bowel wall. But in reality, I, I, I think we try to get too much of the wrong stuff into the body that way. And, you know, you got to be careful with that. So the low bioavailability of, of elementals shows you the, the fact that they're not overly. They act more as stimulants. Their electrical charges are lower. When you start taking the one and as an elemental, as an individual isolate, and you start adding all its cousins together, it becomes more powerful, more magnetic, more energetic. And then when it's all complete, then you have God. And there's nothing more powerful than the, than the deity itself. And so that's the point. The more we get into the isolates, the less powerful it is on us. And, and in some cases, 
can become free radicals, and a good example of that's calcium. If you get calcium in the body without parathormone or without the parathyroid hormone, it can act like a free radical and create severe hardening of the arteries mm -hmm. and, and arthritis and stuff. So you've got to really be careful because within an acid medium, you have ionization going on and uh, you can form crystals and everything else in all this process. And this is the other problem. So I think keeping it simple and not trying to treat your problems you always find remedy. When you try to treat your conditions through all these different isolates, you never get your remedy. Mm -hmm. I've worked in this field all my life, and I've done both sides. And I'm telling you, this is where your remedy is at every level. Some might be working hard for it, remember that. But the end result is well worth it, guys. And the spiritual development you go through on this road is, is icing on the cake. But if you look at it in reverse, getting healthy is icing on the cake. Your spirituality should always be number one. You should always be number one. You and your understanding of who created you and what relationship you are to that. That is uh, nirvanic. Uh, ecstasy, joy, I can't even mention the words that one feels the closer to God you get. You lose verbalage after a point because there's no words to describe extreme ecstasy. You know, one thing, and you and I talked about this a little bit, in my clients I've been noticing that animation life. More and more people are coming Listen in, to this. backed up in that 11 to 1 area, lymphatically, cholesterol, it's brain fog, and it's breaking down that animation of life. And almost 100% of my clients that have had that area damaged or breaking down, they're having a problem feeling joy. They're that. having a problem feeling passion or finding wow. passion in life, in relationships. Wow. And so, you know, this this all up in here is this everything. is the brain area. We've got to get that cleaned out. We've got to... That's why I think that I've just, I've just made it part of almost everybody's protocol to go upper circulation, brain and nerve. Because just what you said, this is everything to you. This is everything to you. And getting it there, getting blood flowing more aggressively to the cells and, and, and igniting the cells, turning them on with brain and nerve. I'm telling you, this, it just makes just such a difference. And like you said, you've got to get up. Now remember, all these animation lifelines, all these, these uh, radius solaruses, Go right to the gut. Remember in the embryo stages. Uh, and, that's, and that's the gut. And so you've got to take care of your vowels always. All right? So if you see this, and you see this is the cell, the fertilized cell, and as the fertilized cell becomes it, moves toward the embryo stages, this is called the embryonic trunk, this is your spinal column and your gut tissue. And out of this, out of this little tail is your, comes all your organs and glands and your GI tract. This later is your GI tract and your spinal column. And all your organs and glands come out of that. So you start to see the symbiotic relationship the GI tract has with everything else on there. And so this is where you go into what we were talking about. It comes out of that embryonic stages. So you've got to go after the bowels. You've got to get after that colon and gut. And I think that that's been a focus of the health people since who knows how long. Mm -hmm. Because look at in our studies, 1800s they were focusing on bowels, yeah. but not the kidneys. Mm -hmm. And it's a combination. It's a co absolutely. You can't, you can't, that's why you see us on programs. And you brought up a good point. You can't just go after one thing. It's just, you're going to sit there and feel like you're spinning and not getting anywhere. And oh, not, Go ahead. No, no. I was just going to say, not only that, but, you know, if you're so focused on your health that you can't see what's going on around you. And, and so many people come to me, I want to work on my diabetes. I want to work on you know, my arthritis, whatever it may be, you cannot focus on the disease or what the doctors have called it. Because, okay, I may get type 2 diabetes and I may get that cleared up and I think I'm healthy, but I never, I miss the fact that my kidneys aren't filtering or I miss the fact that my autonomic system is a mess mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm not healthy after all and I've done all this work going after diabetes 
and yet I've missed something else that's going on around Boy, me. I tell you what, I think, Marcia, you hit on a really, really important subject. And another one, and I've talked a little bit to them about that, is getting too body conscious. Because when I started doing fasting, I started feeling and listening, and I could feel the blood flowing through my body. I'm that sensitive. I, in this little pain, oh, what's that? Oh, oh, what's this? You know, and, and I got two body, con and I realized, oh, I've got to get away from my body. I, I got to get away from this. So then I started my mm -hmm. spiritual journey, and that pulled me away from the physical body. Let it do its thing. Let it get well. You know, too much power to the body can burn it. So just kind of get away from it. Get get happy and involved in something else while the body's healing itself. Mm -hmm. You have a good point here, a real important one. And the focus of diseases will lend you nowhere. It'll you'll be you might as well go full force run into that wall, because it's going to get you nowhere. These are hyped up. These are illusionary concepts of people that do not understand the processes of acidosis and the effect upon cells and other forms of chemistry in the body and what pathogens are. You know, lost in the world of parasites, you got to have another view of the parasitic world and its mm -hmm. role in nature. Because you have to understand if it exists, there's a reason. And you have to ask, what's that reason in the context of the whole? And it's always sometimes hard to see that. Yeah. And the mind can't see the whole. That, that When you see the whole, that isn't the mind that's looking. That's you that's looking. The mind can only see in pieces. Mm -hmm. It analyzes. It rationalizes. The mind can only take little segments and put it together that way. It can't see a, the whole doesn't have that ability. It's an instrument of use. Mm -hmm. The consciousness that flows through the mind is you. That's why we say stop thinking, stop talking, and there's nothing you won't know. I was just talking to a lady that read Paul Twitchell's and Eckenkard books, Fubi Quants. Go ride with him for a while. He'll teach you quite a bit mm -hmm. about stop thinking and stop talking. And every time you focus on something negative, whether that's in the job world, the health, your health, your emotions, but you focus on that negative, it starts to grow. It starts to become bigger and sometimes becomes overwhelming. And so don't make the health the total focus. Make the journey the focus. Oh, I like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because... You know, this is all about your joy and your happiness and your interaction with other individuals because that's why God created endless pieces of itself so it could have endless experiences. You know, if only you existed, your experiences would be uh, rather thin. But if you divided yourself up into unlimited amounts of little pieces and you sent them off to to journeys within the, in, in worlds that you created, then you would be able to experience everything everywhere I mean when you take a look at why God created all these little things ask yourself it has to experience these and that's why it created and created it for us because we are it so you have to really take a look at what God really is and you have to look no further than you now this lady Susan she brought up a, and I've got a client I gotta go but she brought up a a, a good uh, thing here she just finished level one and we talked about genetics in there and I think Susan this is a good idea we're talking about genetics and also in relationship to spirituality I don't know what videos are down but I have done that in the videos talked about spirituality and the uh, and genetics and the gene genetic thinking of cells and how you can change that and it's important for you guys to remember that we're even though uh, medical community and science is looking at genes and this number number 2000 gene is a bad boy and stuff like that that will only get you confused because they're totally confused. The genes are obvious. I mean, it is obvious that there is a movement or changing mm -hmm. of genetic patterns as you move through your genetic history. Uh, that's obvious. Uh, and it is not difficult to turn that whole thing around. If you have to go back to what mutates genetic memories. Well, your every experience from day to day is a genetic change because that consciousness every day changes so slightly the awareness of yourself and the awareness of yourselves. Mm -hmm. Every day you grow. Mm -hmm. You don't you never go backwards. You might think you do, but every day you learn and grow and, and something different comes and you expand. And when you look back over your life you find that that's why we use age and use the word wisdom. 
because people generally beat up pretty good through the younger years and then as they get wiser they go well there's a hole over there don't step in it I fell in it two or three times you know that that's it but that that genetic change in your consciousness and the same thing of the cells and if the cells see nothing but acids and negativity and things like this that's the level they they understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. your cells have memory and you can actually change those cells memory absolutely taking every thought captive but turning it into a positive that's it that's it. I've always said, you have 100 trillion cells roughly in the human body, put a smiley face on every one of them. Can you imagine 100 trillion cells smiling? And your body's <laughs> going to feel good. This, this is from Japan, and I just want to close this out by saying thank you, thank you, sweetheart. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This is a gift from a, uh, a Japanese student. Thank you so much. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We appreciate all your loves. And uh, we wish you all well, and we're here for you. You know, we're always here for you, and we're here as, as close as your dreams. You look in your dreams. You call on the masters to help you. We'll be there for you. We'll take you on journeys. We'll help you to unfold yourself. So, but also, take active role in your growth. We love you all. You're so great. We, every one of you, I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are the new world in every way, shape, or form. So we'll see you until next time. What is it? Hi where are we from? Hi oh Indiana. Hydeos. Isn't that what? Isn't that what? What, is it? what was the long ranger? Oh, I don't know, but till we meet again. Till we meet again. Till we meet again. Till we meet again. That's it. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. Uh, have a good day. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right.